What's going on, everybody? My name is Polo. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, I have a Patreon member request to check out a comedian. The last joke I reacted to from him was pretty crazy. You know, it had me uncomfortable. It was like real cringy, real gay, you know, <laughs> but still funny at the same time, you know. So, um, yeah, well, I don't know what I'm getting into checking this out, but today we're checking out Doug Stanhope, Mentally Ill versus Mentally Challenged. Let's go. We're going to talk about mental illness, and I know there's a lot of different types but for the sake of this bit, I'm gonna break them down into two camps. Camp one, mentally disturbed people. These are people with a mental illness that is disturbing to them. You know, and, and there's a lot of different kinds. There's the, uh, uh, everything's a germ, man. I, 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 oh, I wear yeah. plastic gloves like a Subway sandwich artist because I know everything's going to infect me. <laughs> and I wear a SARS mask on my bicycle when I go to work. And, or or uh, I got to flip the light switch three times before I go to work. One, two, three. And then I wipe my feet on the mat. One, two, three. And then if I think I forgot to do the light switch, I'll go home from work on my lunch break. One, two, three. And these boil all the way down to the government has a chip in my head and they're tracking my thoughts and they're making me do st stuff. Camp one, mentally disturbed. Camp two, mentally challenged people. Also have a mental disability, they just don't seem disturbed by it <laughs> on any level. They seem to quite enjoy having that disability. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to laugh at that. All right, <laughs> it's funny, it's funny, but I'm sorry. Disturbed by it. That's hilarious. Any level, they seem to quite enjoy having that disability. <laughs> they both have a mental impairment. But only one of the two camps gets any kind of sympathy. Mentally challenged people get all the hugs and kickball in the world. <laughs> Everyone loves them. Kickball. Mentally disturbed get kicked the fuck out of the house as soon as they're old enough. There's something wrong with that boy. He's got the devil in him. Get out of my house. Not a, he doesn't have the devil in him. He's got a fucking mental illness. Take care of him. But you don't with camp ones because mentally disturbed people are frightening and irritating. They seem dangerous a lot of the time. They have bees living in their beard and they walk through the crosswalk talking to themselves. And you know if you make eye contact, Oh. All those problems in his head are going to be your problem. <laughs> you know, I've never thought about this before. It's a really good joke. Not just not just funny, but just in the way we treat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he has a point here. And occasionally, it's very rare, but it's always well publicized. Randomly, sometimes mentally disturbed people will go kill a whole bunch of folks for no logical reason that you can see. So you don't want to give them the same sympathy and safe quarter that you do mentally challenged people. And, what is, and, and to stop it there, there's a lot of those people in prison, okay? And they put those people in prison and instead of treating them for what they really are because they, they've done crimes that are so heinous, you know what I mean? There, there's no sympathy for them, whether they have a mental illness or not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can anybody who knows on anything about prison, there's a lot of mentally disturbed people there. No one ever says that. It, retards never kill people. <laughs> Nobody ever says, did you hear about Kevin? He went all downsy and shot up a movie theater. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. He went full-blown special needs and drowned his own children in a bathtub. Nobody saw it coming. 
So retards get to live at home until they're 45 or 80. You can never tell how old they are. <laughs> While your crazy people just get chucked into the street as soon as they turn of age. And then you got free range crazies walking all over the streets and living in the parks. And, and then who has to deal with that problem? Us. Smokers. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody spends more time caring for the mentally disturbed. I like how he narr narrowed it down to smokers. <laughs> Us smokers. <laughs> Nobody spends more time caring for the mentally disturbed than smokers. Because while you're all in here. Laughing your balls off at some silly play or break dancing or whatever you do on a Saturday night. We're out front like a salt lick for the homeless. You're a stationary target. Oh, here he comes. Get a dollar for him. It's not fair. I'm glad I never had that problem. Reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Who's that sign applied to? Where do you enforce that? With your Negroes or your homosexuals or your Muslims? You fucking get shut down in a second. That that sign applies to crazies and crazies alone. Couldn't even do that with a retarded kid. Ma'am, uh, your son spilling the cream of weed out of his mouth. It's making people dry heave. But <laughs> no, just crazies can you use that on, and it's fucked up. Hey, Benny shit pants, get off my coffee counter. You're stinking up the place, and the bees in your beard are stinging my customers. <laughs> you gotta take care of them equally. The whole idea that parents are no longer responsible for their children after a certain age is such utter bullshit. You, you should be responsible for your children for the rest of your natural life. That's, you did that. <laughs> it's not, as soon as you turn 18, it's not your fault. No, it's your fucking fault. Anytime you make the decision to have a child, you're taking a gigantic risk. You have no idea what kind of problem is about to flop out of your pink hole. I kind of agree with this heavily because if uh, parents had to take responsibility for their children, even even if there's, even sorry, even as they become adults, they would be a lot more well-behaved people in this world. Okay, because uh, they will be on it. But these days, kids are growing up off of tablets and social media, and it's a whole other thing now. So if you roll shitty dice at that craps game, society should not be responsible for covering your gambling losses. Pay your marker, motherfucker. The mob's gonna take your thumbs. You can't just do that. We all just we all show up on this planet in the same state of confusion and terror. It's like if we all left this building right now just disappeared and reappeared on another alien planet no memory of ever being here or being a thing just all of a sudden you exist what the fuck and you get a couple of basic instincts i'm hungry throw food down this hole and i'm cold so wrap me up in something but other than that what what the fuck is going on anyone and there's other people who showed up just as fucked up and confused as you are, but they've been there longer. So they could give you a few hot tips. Like, uh, yeah, if it stinks, don't step in it. And someone said, eat kale, and that's good for you. And don't get a LinkedIn profile, because the spam is endless and you'll never use it. But other than that, I don't really have any answers for you. Right. And then some of you sadists take this to the next level where you say, let's pull that same practical joke on somebody else who doesn't exist. <laughs> Fuck me in the front potato. We'll watch it fall out all terrified and confused. 
and we'll laugh at it for as long as that joke stays fresh. And then we'll wait till his knees are strong enough to hold up his upper body weight, and we'll make him work around the house forever for nothing. Sorry, black people, you do not corner that market on slavery. Every single one of us was born into indentured servitude. I agree. 18 years a slave. Make that Oscar winning motion picture. 18 years a slave. You had me. I used to be nothing. I didn't exist and I never had a bad day. Then you create me. I come into this world, the next thing I know, I'm doing yard work and dishes. I got chores. And then do your homework. And when your homework's done, then you're grounded. Fuck you, cunt that had me without my consent. I'm grounded. I'm 13 years old. You know what I could do? I could make a dude, too. I know your law says 18, but nature said 13. I could crank out a dude just like you did that didn't exist, put him on your dime, and he's going to half my workload. Wow. Subcontract that piece of shit out to Drake Lee. <laughs> but I didn't do that because I'm not a dick. But no, I think that you're, you should be responsible to your kids up until they're like 21 or somewhere. If my parents were alive today, I would sue them into poverty just for having me against my will set legal precedent they weren't bad people but you made me out of nothing then you kicked me out when i was 18. now i'm 48. i'm ugly i'm drunk i don't have a strong closer for this special <laughs> and you're conveniently dead before i can sue you it's wrong And I'm not even crazy or retarded. I'm just unamused with the outcome of their poorly thought through prank. <laughs> not funny, lady. Retarded is, I know, uh, unfashionable to use, but it's still in play down here. If you're visiting, go down uh, the, the neighboring town, Douglas, Arizona, where they take care of Camp Twos, still have their big vintage sign Douglas Association for Retarded Citizens, 1963. I mean, you got to admit, retarded is such a beautiful word, you know, and sometimes it just fits perfectly when you're describing a situation or a person. Beautiful. Any hipster would be proud to have that in their man cave. Let me rewind that. I missed the joke a little bit, but. Where they take care of Camp Twos, still have their big vintage sign. Douglas Association for Retarded Citizens, 1963. It's beautiful. Any hipster would be proud to have that in their man cave. <laughs> but the thing with the word retarded is retarded is not like other epithets. It was not a word of hatred. Retarded was the medical definition. It was actually a word born in sensitivity because they used to call them uh, before retarded was the word, uh, doctors would use imbecile or moron. This is something a smart fuck at Harvard has labeled the euphemism treadmill. Moron and imbecile were the correct terms for a while. And what happened is we co-opted those words to call our friend when he does something incredibly stupid. I am learning something today. I did not know that. If that's true, I have to fact check this. But uh, yeah, no matter what word, you know, it's always going to switch if it's being used as something derogatory. Like, you know, you can you call something gay or, you know, it's, it's, it's derogatory now, you know. But if it, it describes it, they, they, now you got to say something different. And then you're going it, to it's, it's always going to be used the same way, no matter what. Uh, so that's that's where he's getting at. You know, no matter what you change the word to, if it describes the situation, that's the word they're going to use. Heart fuck at Harvard has labeled the euphemism treadmill. Moron and imbecile were the correct terms for a while. And what happened is we co-opted those words to call our friend when he does something incredibly stupid. <laughs> to the point where it became an insult. So out of sensitivity, they changed the word to retarded. And what happened... <laughs> 
was we co-opted that word to call our friend when he does something <laughs> incredibly stupid. So you can keep changing the word. So he just said what I said, but way better. <laughs> if you make the new one stick, that's what I'm going to call my friend. Did you just put a metal plate in a microwave? What are you, developmentally disabled? <laughs> put a metal plate in a microwave? Who are you an imbecile? That? make it as difficult to pronounce and latin based and medical rooted and we'll shorten the word stick that's the new word i'm gonna call my friend when he trips over his own shoelaces right <laughs> ha ha you just exhibited some of the atlanto axial instability <laughs> that is usually associated with the trisomy 21 genetic imbalance that is a good joke Dumb, dumb, uncle, so, trips over his own shoelaces. And the fact and what makes the joke even funnier is that you have to remember the whole thing. Ha ha You just exhibited <laughs> some of the Atlanto axial instability that is usually associated with the trisomy twenty one genetic imbalance. Oh, that should have became a trend. If everybody could remember that, I don't know if I remember that, that would be funny. <laughs> You still have some blogger or a Susan Blackford in the back of the room going, that's not funny. Right. Letter to the editor. My son was born with the trisomy 21 chromosomal imbalance. And if you ever had to raise a child in such a condition, you would show more sensitivity and not use that kind of word. You no know, mocking. To this is where she's being thrown out by Chad. <laughs> <and I imagine. laughs> it's the same way I laugh at racist jokes, you know, when comedians do it. You know, it's like you have to be able to take a joke. You have to take care of your crazy people. That's the whole point of this. I thought it was so that you can get a better smoke break. And they, uh, they, they, they don't here. I don't know if uh, Bingo, my girlfriend, did you know, is uh, she's mentally ill. Camp one, mostly. Shows signs of camp two here and again, but... Yeah, she's a uh, bipolar, schizoaffective is her diagnosis. Uh, do we have, and I'm not trying to open up the floor for open mic, but are, are there any, like, legitimately diagnosed, uh, medicated crazy here tonight? <laughs> Labeled? What's your label? Clinically depressed. Clinically depressed. Bipolar. Bipolar. Canadian. Canadian, see? Canadian. That kind of proves my point. See, if I was asking if anyone, uh, uh, if I said uh, my girlfriend surviving cancer, has anyone else had cancer, you fucking disease, you wouldn't go, my wife's a cancer. <laughs> I'm saying that you can shit all over crazy people where retards are sacrosanct. They're, they're both mentally ill. I think you just kind of proved my point. I, I love this joke because um, I went on rants like this with my friends. I kind of think similar. I'm like, it's crazy how we show like a lot of sympathy for this illness and we um, and we shun that illness and you know we act like they're not both the same thing. They're, they're not from the same tree. Uh, and it's, I love a really good thinking comedian. You can't even say you, crazy people. You can call them whatever you want. Fucking lunatic, psycho, nut job, wacko. You drop a tard bomb in mixed company. Oh, you better <laughs> don't pick say that. Up the check at that company luncheon. <laughs> Thank you for making my point. Clinically depressed, you might just be correct. <laughs> Bipolar, welcome to town. I hope you're not here seeking treatment, because uh, Arizona. Arizona's kind of notorious for not taking care of mentally ill people. Well, uh, Jared Loeffner. Yeah. 
few years ago, for people who are watching this, if it ever gets released, Jared Loeffner was one of our Camp One mentally disturbed people, and he thought the government was playing with his head, and he had all sorts of weird theories, and he had to take it out by going down to the Safeway in Tucson, and he killed, I think, seven people or nine people, and he shot our Congresswoman, Gabrielle Gifford, shot her right in the fucking bean. Wow. <laughs> and uh, she, she survived, sort of. <laughs> The face expressions is crazy. She walks among us, but <laughs> no, this is the good part. He went it's there. One of our mentally disturbed people shot our congresswoman directly into camp two. She's straight up retarded now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, this dude is a killer. You know, and his setups are so long, but the payoff is like really good. Like, uh, like he, he'll set up a joke for like three minutes. People shot our congresswoman directly into camp two. Dave does that really well. He's straight up retarded now. She lived much to her husband's chagrin. She did manage to pull through. He's a Wait, this is a brilliant joke. The story. It's a, it might be a little touchy for the locals, but her husband was an astronaut, and he, after she got shot mentally retarded, she's still in a rehabilitation facility when he had to take his last space mission, and you know he was hoping to get lost up there like George Clooney in Gravity. I just gotta live. I can't fucking do. Put me on the leakiest rocket with the worst <laughs> maintenance record and shoot me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Great movie, by the way. This is Major Tom to ground control. <laughs> is my wife still shot retarded? Is she still making those awkward personal appearances? <laughs> Where she gives a speech, but no one knows what the fuck she just said. <laughs> this is only okay to laugh at if you need a reason for it to be okay. Is because at the time that Jared Loeffner, mentally disturbed, shot our congresswoman, mentally challenged, we ranked 49th in mental health care under her watch as a congresswoman. Wow. That's out of 50 for a lot of my fans. It's not very good. That's your job. That's not so much tragic as that's some instant karma's about to catch you right in the grape, Gabby. Boom. Should have chucked some of that retard money crazy's way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Vintage sign out on the highway. If you want to drive by on your way out of town tomorrow, drive past where Bingo gets mental health care. Is in a U-shaped strip mall on the outskirts of town on Highway 92. On this side of the U is the Second Amendment gun shop. In the middle of the U is the Beast Brewery, and on her end is Community Intervention Associates. With the acronym blown up on the door where you do not get to see a doctor. You see a registered nurse via Skype. Oh. A woman that I was actually in the room when she said to Bingo, next time you feel like cutting yourself, try doing something positive instead, <laughs> like get a new hairstyle or a manicure. It's fucking actual quote. So if you have a mental health issue like a Jared Loeffner and you think, oh, you, you, you get the shortwave radio is playing in your head and the plastic bags are flowing around your brain like poltergeist and, and you want to do the bad, bad thing and you're loading a clip and that last rational synapse is telling you maybe you should seek some mental health care first. <laughs> 
in order to get that health care, you would have to stroll past the gun shop, <laughs> then past the bar, walk through a tinted glass door marked CIA for Community Intervention Associates, where you talk to a television set that's talking back to you. And you wonder why people die in hails of gunfire in America. Logic. It ain't ISIS. You know what I was thinking, Alex, if you can hear me, is I would love to hear uh, the second-hand review of this show from Sherry, the checker at Safeway in Lane 4, the town gossip, who just hears about it and then tells everyone else what she heard. And then I heard it was like $50, and it sold out in six minutes, and all he talked about was retarded people beheading Gabby Giffords. And I... I would never pay that. You know what's sad is that comedians are the only one allowed to, to speak this freely and say what they want to say without being canceled. And, and then even a lot of them get blackballed. Um, but they say some of the most prolific things that are logical. But the media, the news, projects a different narrative. No one talks like this. No one is using logic. No one is saying things that are very obvious um, you know, one thing I've learned in all my years, I didn't know how many people were followers, you know, and how people don't recognize good character in people like the average person. You know, that's why you see people following crazy things and giving their time and attention to stupid things. You know, just just my opinion. But uh, you, comedians like him, Dave, Bill Maher, uh, you name it, they, they they speak the truth and they're allowed to speak it freely, but you don't see it often. You know, so I'm in a hurry, Sherry. But what do I know? I'm just a guy on YouTube making subpar content. <laughs> um, Doug, man, is a is a monster. Really, really good comedian. Okay, this is vastly different from the other stuff I've reacted to. Just, um, yeah, you know, I'm loving this journey. I appreciate the, the person that sent in the request for this video. Uh, if you guys like this type of content, please be sure to support the channel by liking the video. If you want to support it further, all my links are in the description. Uh, you can check out my Patreon or purchase me a coffee to support the show. I thank you guys for your time. Hope you have a great day. Peace.